Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tonight we're gonna to be talking about the Virgo full moon which is happening on the 19th around 10 o'clock in the morning. Just because this full moon is happening earlier on in the morning doesn't mean that the majority of us aren't gonna be doing our rituals later on tonight. I don't know about you, but that's when I normally do my rituals is later on after the sun dips down. That's when I do most of all of my best work. So I don't know if you guys will be joining me, but I definitely will be out there <laughs> in the cosmos most floating out on that cloud setting my intention because I just feel like I need to personally and this full moon really is so magical in so many ways and we're gonna discuss that in just a second the first thing that I'm noticing with this full moon is the fact that you know yeah the full moon is happening in the sign of Virgo but we have the Sun that just entered in the sign of Pisces and then we also have mercury that's been moving through the sign of Pisces now Pisces is the polar opposite of Virgo Pisces is all about dreaming and idealistic and connecting to your to your soul purpose and soulmates and this higher level Level of experience that if we didn't have Pisces energy here on earth our everyday and our experience in this life that we have would be so dull it would be so monotonous it would be so boring we would question everything and we, we would never believe in anything other than what we can see other than what is practical that's the energy that Virgo brings it's this need to kind of get to the bottom of things it's almost like very Scorpio energy where you want to dig to find the truth and then when you see it you you see it for what it is this is what is real this is what is practical and that's the magic of Virgo and that's why it's so perfectionist it's considered so perfectionist because it wants to it wants the truth it wants to gain all you know take inventory of all of the facts and all of what we have worked to build and then from this what can we do with this and then we toss something out if it's not working we perfect it if it is working that's the energy of what Virgo brings and that's what I'm seeing in your life at, at at least under the light of this full moon. It doesn't matter what your sun sign is, we're all under the same influence, under the cosmos, and that's the energy and that's the message that the Virgo full moon is going to bring into your life. Now that being said, Mercury is a planet that rules Virgo, and Mercury is moving through the sign of Pisces, and Mercury does not enjoy the energy of Pisces. It really doesn't. The planets do play favorites. Mercury doesn't like to move through the sign of Pisces because Pisces is so ethereal, it's so spaced out. And Virgo, you know, is ruled by Mercury and wants to be a straight shot. It wants information, it wants facts. It wants facts. It doesn't want, oh, this is the dream. This is what we're hoping for. This is what we wish for. It says, I want the truth. So there is this interesting kind of like push-pull energy that I'm seeing within the chart. But you guys know how I feel about this already. You've heard me say this time and time and time and time and time again, that if you know how to work with the energy of the planets and of the cosmos, you can make them work for you versus against you. Now, that being said, it's very possible that you guys are having a very difficult time concentrating. I don't know about you, but I have been feeling this to infinity and beyond. I was writing in my journal last night and it almost, what I wrote down was, it feels as, as though something has, op out of nowhere, has opened up a can of like my inner demons and just kind of like let them loose. And in reality, what it is that I'm saying, it's like, it just feels like these, these um, old thoughts or these wishy-washy thoughts or these anxieties or worst case scenario and even best case scenario it's almost like I am floating from one and going back to the next going back from one extreme to the next where I can see the vision I can see the dream I can say the wish set the intention and then the other side my my brain is like this is never gonna happen is this real is this and it's like this like record it's like this um, inner dialogue that it is that I'm having and it, it makes my brain foggy it makes me hard to concentrate and that's what it is that we're seeing for this full moon and also all of this week surrounding the full moon the mind is foggy you're flip-flopping you're having a hard time kind of finding your way and I said this last week and I said this the week before it's almost like we have to go from logically finding our ways to intuitively feeling our way. And again, it's not going to make sense. And it's so funny now that I'm saying this out loud too because last week, what card did we keep on pulling? We kept on pulling the moon card again and again and again. And that's the moon card within the tarot is really about being in this in this space of total darkness and things not being what it is that they seem and seeing things and not seeing them for what they are and maybe hearing things and the way that you hear it 
is different than what it actually is. So it's like you're in this cloud, you're in this fog, you're in this daze. And again, I just want to be so honest with you guys. Like I've been feeling this 110% and I've been taking a lot of time to ground. And I said that within my last um, video. I'm, I'm saying it like now and I'm like, oh my God, Jess, you said this, you said this, you said this. But I'm really needing to take additional time to ground myself and center myself. And that is what the full moon in Virgo will help to bring to you because Virgo is earth energy. And Virgo needs to ground because there's a lot that's going on around us. There's a lot that's going on within us. And it's not a bad thing, but what it's teaching you to do is to rely on your intuition. It's teaching you to see the unseeable. So there are things, there's like an undercurrent. There's this subliminal subconscious like wave. And I said this on my Twitter this week too, that's been happening all around us all the time. And I've been seeing this again in my own life and the way that things have kind of been synchronistically aligning themselves. But e even if we don't see it, we subconsciously see it. Even if we don't know that we're feeling it, we are intuitively feeling it. So I'm seeing a lot of you guys really connecting with your intuition and connecting with your feelings. Think about it. Visualize yourself right now. If someone was to blindfold you and put their put the, their hands over your ears and you just being like in this total blank space of darkness, that's kind of the energy that we're in right now. And instead of you relying so much on these normal tools that it is that you use, that you've strengthened over time, meaning like logic, emotion, and following your, your feeling, like your reaction, meaning your emotional feeling, not your intuitive feeling, now you really have to step into the unknown. Again, think about what it's like to be on this ocean, to be floating in the ocean, be floating in this abyss, and not knowing where it is that you're going to go and not knowing what's going to happen next. Well, you have to lift your feet up because we have to respect the energy of Pisces. We have to lift our feet up and allow ourselves to feel what it feels like to just float and to have no control, no, dir no direction. It almost seems like you don't have direction, but in reality, you do have direction. The universe is taking you on this tidal wave that you've been sublim subliminal sublim subliminally and subconsciously been feeling and seeing the signs for it for a long time. And that's what's going to happen at the Virgo full moon. This is when things start to fall together and the pieces start to make sense and get pieced together. What I don't want is for you guys to think that you're going to get the answer right away. I actually think that there's a few things that need to get exposed. There's a few things that need to get blown up. There's a few more pieces of the puzzle that are missing that are just going to somehow mysteriously come up. I also think that Mercury retrograde is going to help to put some, you know, cement some additional pieces when it comes to communication, when it comes to messages, when it comes to important people in your life. But for right now, at the full moon, I really want you guys to think about your day-to-day -day life. I want you guys to think about your health. I want you guys to think about where it is that you're sharing your energy and who it is that you're sharing that energy with. I want you guys to think about the words that it is that you're thinking and the, the music that it is that you're listening to. Promise yourself that you are not in taking in music or songs or words or information that is toxic to you because you can do all this external stuff. You could take care of your external body, your physical body by going on these diets, by going on these detoxes, by pushing certain people out and cutting certain things out. But at the same time, what is the music that you're listening to? The, again, all this week and all this weekend, it's become so apparent to me and so obvious to me, this subliminal. The things that it is that are blinking that we don't even see, but we're looking at it, but we don't see that that message is getting implanted in our brains. It's in the music. It's in the words that we hear. It's in the things that it is that we say. It's in the um, our Instagram. You know, it's on our social media. So I just want you guys to be very discerning, highly discerning about who and what messages are coming into your brain and make sure that those two are pure. Why pure? Well, because Virgo rules purification. It rules making sure that the mind, Mercury, ruling Virgo, is clear and focused. That way you can live up to your greatest and highest potential. Why potential? Because Pisces. Pisces is the potential that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even logically make sense the amount of potential that it is that you have that is ingrained within you, that is given to you by God. And the only way that you can tap into that is if you make sure that your day-to-day -day -day life reflects this ultimate vision that it is that you have for your life. Now, 
Um, there is something that I want you guys to be aware of. Again, Mercury is sitting almost on top of Neptune, perfectly on top of Neptune at the time of the full moon. And Neptune, again, is the planet of illusion and fantasy and things that it is that, you know, take our experiences to the next level. It's very spiritual. It's very soul connected. It's very compassionate, very loving, very unconditional loving and very forgiving. So it's really going to take your brain to go to a space of, you know what, anything that if it's these old words or old things, repeating thoughts that it is that you have that tell you that you are less than, that you are not deserving, that you're accepting less than what it is that you deserve, that you say about yourself every single day, we have to change that dialogue. You have to change that dialogue because it's those small bits and pieces that make the foundation of the rest of your life. And Pisces, again, will connect you. It connects you to that dream. It connects you to that vision, that purpose that, again, is given to you by God that other people may not understand. But again, Mercury is moving through the sign of Pisces and Mercury rules the mind and what it is that we should be focusing on. The sun is the life energy, the Force, the center of our universe is moving to the sign of Pisces directly opposite of this full moon the moon and in, in sitting in the sign of Virgo so what we're seeing is again it's allowing yourself to float on this on faith almost allowing yourself to kind of be it almost feels directionless again like it was that I was saying but it's not that you're directionless you're just being allowed to be guided gently guided in the direction of where it is that you ultimately need to go and again we've been pulling pulling the full the 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 moon card a lot this week i have i've been posting it on my instagram and again it's showing like how we see things in our in our everyday world is not exactly what it is and that's okay it, you have to rely on different senses you have to rely on a different compass and that's something that comes from within which one of the signs connects the closest to god which one of the signs connects the closest to the divine pisces pisces is that that instant connection to spirit, to the other world. And Virgo, Virgo is the sign that helps to bring that message, that helps to deliver that message because she receives it from Pisces. That's her very opposite. Even though they're opposite, they work really well together. Even though they don't understand each other, they need each other. So Pisces receives the message, Virgo takes it, translates it, and then gives it to you. And that's what's happening at the sign of the full moon. So for those of you guys who are um, artists, for those of you guys who are dreamers and lovers and creatives, it's time for you to really create. If you are a logical-minded person, it's time for you to connect with your intuition. It doesn't make sense. It's not going to make sense to you. Again, it's a dream. It's something that seems impossible. It always seems impossible. Pisces until it's done Virgo okay so I hope that makes sense you guys I'm sending you guys all of my love make sure that you are setting intention for this full moon again it's the 19th in the morning around 10 or 11 but what I want you guys to do is to really think about your day-to-day -day life and think about what you can do every day to make your your experience here on earth way more magical is it having a partner that a true love partner a soulmate partner um or just a a you know, a, a life partner? Is it the diet that it is that you need to change up? Virgo rules your diet. Virgo rules your lifestyle. So you might have to intuitively listen to how your body is responding to the foods that it is that you're eating. If normally coffee used to work for you and now all of a sudden it's not, listen to that. The, the sensitivities are heightened. Pisces is very sensitive and so is Virgo. Virgo can pick up on the tiny nuances. Virgo can pick up on this isn't right, this is wrong, this is good, this is bad. And Pisces is the one that's saying this is what you need to do in order to heal yourself. Pisces rules healing and Virgo rules how we heal. And then also there's the element of surprise. We want to stay open to that. And I'm seeing the fact that Venus, I cannot ignore this, Venus ruling love and relationships and beauty and aesthetic and value is sitting almost very direct on top of Saturn, the Saturn, the planet of commitment, structure, responsibility, and lessons. So this is an amazing time to set intention for love. This is an amazing time for setting intention for the type of money and resources that it is that you need in order to do your dream career, in order to do your dream you know, job or purpose. It's also a time to connect with others and to tell them how much you really love them and care about them and to be very open and vulnerable about that and be very sensitive. To be sensitive means to be vulnerable and when you're in a vulnerable space you're in a good space okay so um, that being said you guys I'm literally sending you guys all of my love make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next video good luck bye